All right, do over. a bootleg song recorded at the Fountain Street Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. track that was recorded at Fawn Street Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan, I believe. So the rumor goes, it's the Stan Getz band and uh, Danny before he, when he was with the church and stuff and uh, college he went to, he was the one that recorded the show and set up all the sound and everything. So he had the power to record it. <laughs> so he got a bootleg. It was a great track. Anyway, what I want to do is, I've got a, um, a situation, I have a contest that is for Rattle, it's a place called Rattle, and um, it's a $15,000 purse, so I have 10 poems that I want to select four from so I was hoping to get some feedback from some of my people like Lauren and AD and people like that and then all you chuckleheads out there I know everybody likes to have an opinion and I'm kind of sharing some kind of personal stuff I don't know what kind of personalities we'll see how many different personalities come out of the poems that'll be interesting so let me go to I need to open a monitor so let me get one right here Okay, that way I have my Paul's out there. I see you, Paul. I just got my monitor set up. So anyway, 
I got 10 palms to go through and I have a bit of an ego problem so I'm having a difficulty selecting any that are even any good. Um, so this first piece is nature. That way I have it's called nature. Paul's out there. Stop that. Okay. Starts off. Let me drink deep on your beauty, my surprise of my days. My eyes drip with your sweetness, sometimes no breath to say. The sugar drips from my cheek and lips, and I enjoy the taste. To love you is pure heaven, and there's not a drop to waste. Walking with you hand in hand, an arm around the hips, in a dream together, hanging on every kiss. Let me drink deep on your beauty, while there's so much I want to say, but mostly only I love you forever and a day. Yeah, so that's nature. I don't know the markability of it, but I wrote it. So we'll go into the comments. This is a post. on my page from the 11th um, and in the comments are 10 comments so we're gonna go through these pieces and see if any of these are worthy of entering in a poetry contest All right, this is called the wrong girl Uh, from uh, April 23rd, 2016. Hindsight's always crisp and clear, and we can learn so very much. Why do we become forgetful when we meet someone we want to touch? My dire desire for love is like a magnet on cassette tape, destroying everything recorded, leaving only bits in a huge disorder, rearranging all you're used to hearing, silencing the best parts, memory clearing. Your, lone, your empty, lonely heart is fearing never having someone to share with, someone's hand to hold and care with, and to warm each other's souls. Spark plus tender tinder equals glow, to feel completion and feel whole, passing on together what we know, so the world can have it too in fairness. When we're gone, they'll all know that we were as far as you can get from I could care less. That is how I want to go. Don't want my stone to need the message that says, I loved you with my heart and whole. Yeah, that was uh, entered 4-2, day after April Fool's Day, 2016. That was about Jenny. Jenny might be peeking at me out there somewhere. That was about Jenny. All right, this next piece is called The Wishbones. Trees, Paul says the trees. I have the trees in this list. I do. Wishbones, this is from um, August 13th, 2016, I entered it, but I wrote it. I don't remember when I wrote it. I'd have to look at my notebooks. But my great-grandma Linder always saved the wishbones for us grandkids when we came to visit. And out of all the toys we never had, my most fun times were at her house. We were so poor, the rats ate the soap. And the first words I ever read were minimum speed limit. I wore a razor strap for my only pants, or at least it might as well have been. It was covering my ass more than anything they made me wear. Right about the time I had a few names straight, I'd been enrolled in a new school in a new town where the principal was told to beat me if he needed to. Well, they say you are what you eat. Now, if that was true, I'd be a potato pancake with sugar on top that smells and tastes like bacon. And if I'd known then what I know now, I'd have known what to wish for when we broke the wishbones when we were little. Yeah. 
you know, the piece that comes in the chicken. It's a fun thing to do with kids. Um, I'm going down the list. This next piece is kind of a risque piece. What's going on with my camera? Am I still there? Yes. This next piece is kind of a risk. Stop that. Um. Yeah. So I. Oh. Uh, anyway, I've got until the fifteenth to enter this contest. So today's the thirteenth. I got two more days. I'm gonna put it off till like you know nine o'clock at night that day. Really get the rush out of it. Yeah. All right. This next piece is called Love and Seasons. Um. This was from September 8th, 2016. Um, it's got a Jenny overtone to it, I think. Also, yeah. So anyway, summer keeps a place in my heart, but I cannot love summer without spring. And I cannot love spring without appreciating the winter. And fall, fall is lovemaking and intercourse, making love to them all. The pregnancy is winter, and a new birth is the spring. Summer's foreplay, and fall drips its beautiful juices, and I cannot help but to savor every drop. Yeah, love the seasons. This next piece is from the same despondency.blogspot.com on my blog. It's in my profile, the link to it. Uh, this next piece is called What I've Got. And it looks like a song. It is a song. This is from um, October 29th of 2016. It's like I was writing pretty routinely, it looks like. 107 pieces in 2016 compared to, anyway. What I've got, I've got a bed I can't sleep in. I buy food I don't eat. I've got shoes, take me nowhere. I collect things I can't keep. I got a truck with a bench seat, but no one to ride by my side. I got a heart that is swollen from holding too much inside. I've got a doctor I don't see. I got meds I don't take. I got love stored up too long. The shelves are about to break. I got a wedding band finger, but no signs left it was there. Too much stress and heartache and a wine box to bear. I've got a bed I can't sleep in because it was made for a pair. I've got a strange land condition dying with no one to share. I have a goal getting nowhere. I've got hopes, I've got dreams. I got old wounds that still fester. I got tears by the stream. I got stubborn man syndrome. I've got convictions, I care. I can't give up, I'm a father with a message to share. I got a bed I can't sleep in. I buy food I can't eat. Still reaching for something that doesn't belong to me. Keep in mind, I'm all these throughout this whole thing, and one of the things is I'm struggling for uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know which ones are worth entering. Uh, you know, there's a small fee, which is not a big deal, but. If I had the 15 grand, I could publish the children's books. Um, this is called The Healing Water. It's a song from uh, March 29th, 2016. Um, 
I found a better way while I was cutting hay because I thought about it all when I was baling straw. And I knew which way to go when I saw the flying crow. The only question in my mind was just how long my well would flow. Because I need the cool, sweet waters and the love of sons and daughters. Feel like a hog being led to slaughter, not knowing what's about to happen, which way you'll make me go. And I pray to find the reasons why life's so hard and seems unpleasing, needing love to keep me going, afraid of just how long my blood will flow. I need the cool of the healing water, feel like I'll die and stay in my coffin when he comes to take his children home, when he comes to take his children home. Please don't forget me when you come to take them home. Yeah, that was a little gospel, I guess. The poem's not about you or yours will more than likely be considered. Um, this next piece is The Trees. This is called The Trees. I wrote this quite a long time ago when I was in my early 20s, probably 23, I think. So, 93, 94, I wrote this. If the trees could talk, they'd talk to you. If the trees could talk, they'd talk to me too. If the trees could talk, it'd be all they'd do, it'd seem. If the trees could talk, they wouldn't talk, they'd scream. If the trees could talk, we'd all be out on a limb. If the trees could talk, our chance to talk would be slim. If the trees could talk, their bark wouldn't be what's to fear. It'd be the words that they'd say and the things that we'd have to hear. Yeah. I believe in that poem. That one I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna select this one. ones I put in the comments are the ones I'm selecting if nobody says anything I'm hoping somebody gives me some opinions you know I've been writing for a long time I've been throwing this out on the outer internet for 18 years I've been on the internet since 92 30 30 years and I still have no conversation about anything I've written Finally got a review at Christmas a year and a half ago from Sophie Keelan, also known as um, her. I, I'm not going to give her her other name, but uh, Shell Perry. She gave me a review. It made me cry. Yeah, it did. Anyway, yeah. So I'm going to enter that one. I had a follow-up called Leaves. That actually would be a great follow-up because the leaves are compost. You know, turn, you can turn the leaves into, the leaves create the earth, you know. Yeah, yeah, follow-up. Well, I did write a piece called um, Coolness. And, and it was about the ground coverings and things and how important they are and the moisture retention and the cooling of the planet and all that. Yeah, I did. This next piece is a, this is a bit of a, this is a wrap. Um, this is called uh, Gold. Uh, I wrote this down in Key West while I was locked up listening to all these wannabe rappers regurgitating this garbage all the time. And I got mad, so I sat down with my pen, my was a pencil, and I wrote this poem out, this, this rap out in like two minutes. And um, it's actually, uh, I, it's pretty good, really, I think. Well, you be the judge. It's called Gold. 
Someday I'll have my own ideas and be original, not jumping up and down like Mike, my own individual. And you won't find me vice bound by consumerism or hanging by the thread of a fat or clung to the throwback smelling of funk of my residualism. Or hanging out in a window of an automobile trying to put up a front like I'm gold to a woman who was painted in a stolen glow and clothed in garments she took from Fred Sanford's store. Smelling like she just got off a fishing boat. When we see feces, she got under the nails, it'll make you choke and then. I won't need to tell you I'm no joke, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, but I don't know if it's contest worthy. They're a very good. Oh, hey, Scott, uh, Scotty's out there. Oh, they're very good, brother. Oh, I heard. Well, thank you, Scott. I um, I don't know if you're a writer or whatever, but you know when you write things, it's kind of personal, and it's a, there's a hurdle to just to share it with somebody else, you know. But um, it's an ego issue, I guess, a lack of confidence or something. I don't know, or maybe some subconscious search for acknowledgement. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm having a hard time. But Scott, you got to check it out too. It's called the Rattle. Uh, it's Rattle Poetry Contest, and it's a fifteen thousand dollar purse. Um. So, this next piece I'm going to read is uh, called Life's Magic. I wrote this in May, 29th of May, last year. Um. Who knows what I was thinking, but we'll see. Let's see. Let's read it here. The trails of life were exciting. The berries and flowers, the salamanders, the smell of scent of the beach in the air, wild leeks dancing fragrance, morels of a story that nature so lovingly shares. But the beauty is discarded with sharing. Conspiracies not meant to be. The love is then wasted on a two-way street going nowhere. The black tears glistening for no one to see, but the demons staring through the dusty cracks of the closet of life, keeping you sublimely hidden, sick jokes for a laugh. I have a croak and a smile because M&Ms make friends over a broken Kit Kat, rolling a rollo to contradiction, fiction and fantasy with a salty end, raisins and uncashed checks. Soy, lead, bitter, sweet, seeming in a scent, drawing more blood to a filthy surface by the hand of a deviant artist, voting for the end of a dream, dreamed by demons, trying to have their way with the back door of a glorious party, holier than thou, pregnant with a cow that no one wants to milk. Cheese will never be made from a tax break. A claim with a flag never asserted or defined, although quiet eyes hear the vibrations of lies larger than life itself. Oh, elf on a shelf, a waif so naive with a run in the nylons, everybody makes it a point, defining their own illustrations, sketched without truth, a colorless hue yet to be named by the scientific critic. Madzak, Captain Madzak. Dying to share with you, but the crew gleefully reaps a bounty unwanted by the masses, thirst for Caesar and his circus. The dragon rises from the stagnant depths of a cesspool punch bowl, yet to be drank from by the idiots searching to swim in a wake of gluttonous abuse to a cherished item eradicating its use by the peasants awaiting to become pissed drunk by the yearn of some punk needing a tool or two employed only to be sourced from a waste of a society, searching for a whore, a Sodom and Gomorrah, holding a tour while sipping salty broth sopped up by a flavorless wafer. So savor the salt from your brow and count once again these cementitious blocks willingly built to form the prison of the mind of a potentially powerful weapon. I just pen this because my penis is more powerful than the sword of short sentences, easily done with a book of lesser importance, of fantasy. Oh, fantasy, fiction, the whore, the profiteer capitalizing on selfishness and greed, trading away integrity to rob the earth and the angels. Time served. 
you're free to return for more bologna, soggy bread, Jim Jones, and a cookie consisting of oats meant for cattle. Enjoy your meaningless chattel, for I'm off on my adventure, my trail that I'm conspiring. Yes, sharing with you. Boy, what was he on when he wrote that, everybody said. That was kind of crazy. I don't know if anybody gets it. Does anybody? Thank you, Scott. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, you know, the media, all this stuff in the media, it's all kind of a, you know, all the things you see in the world, and we're so powerless, we can't, can't do anything about it because we can't unite on common ground. They've got everybody divided on everything, and it's all based on a rivalry. It's all about rivalry. They've sold it's got everything but the soul thing. Yeah. Okay, that was life's magic. Um, I've got, there's two left, okay? Bear with me. <coughs> um, <clears throat> well, thank you, Scotty. Thank you, man. Um, there's two left. This one, I don't know why I, I, well, this is called Intelligent Orgy. I don't know if it's intelligent or not. Let's find out. I understand I'm pregnant, so a lot of times some of the pregnancy is seen in the words when they're on paper. Well, you understand that, Scott, I'm sure, if you're, you're you know, being a writer. But um, anyway, this is from 30th of May, 2021, Intelligent Orgy. Books, I read them six at a time. Television sets are lit, as I. There is an orgy in my mind. Titillating, mass debating, criticizing, always rating, rating, polling, thought controlling, orgy in my mind. Clarity, one lump or two. A dose, biscotti, a bit of glue. A shattered heart, a search for depths, unsatisfied with men, friendship, passion, so elusive, catch me if you can. Analyze this, felt the stickiness of the kiss, programming, bittersweet, mesmerized with salience, a producer of products, weeds need calling, pulling, roots and blood mill spilled, careless glutton, free of labors, holes and patches, store-bought distressed blue jeans, illusions and antithesis, fulfills material needs, paddied wagons, Dr. Zeus, god of war and more, Statuesque claims against a history marred by lying candle flames, casting shadows, sketching eyes, a skeptic's abstract view, a periodic table lost and traded, a couch surfer's lot filled with bottles and cans, a blunt whapper away from disaster, another selfie stick brush pile, rabbits hutch in the city dumps, the slums, the dregs where we run for drugs. Where the hood it, where the hood at it just ain't. Edgar Allan Raven of Nevermore a Saint. So while you watch one show, I watch six at three and nine. There is an orgy in my mind. True freedom I have found and share a glimpse of it with you. Yes, a periodic table of colors painting in every hue. The colors I've mixed and found, discarded lovers new. A fan, a friend not, searching for the treasures as we all seem to. Finding nothing but a promise renewed at the end of every day and time. Tomorrow things will be rewarding. There is an orgy in my mind. It's just an old sappy love song. Sap, sap, oh sappy file. Just an old sappy love song playing in the background at the orgy in my mind. Yes, just a file tucked away from view of every critical friendship I always find. It's just an old sappy love song somewhere in the orgy of my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Need to do something with this. This is good. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. I got one piece left watching the garden. And this is about life right now, the entire world. This is 
consider this God's perspective or the angels watching the garden it's sad to watch the garden die so slowly in a world full of lonely so easily sold the pine aches constant and the booze isn't cold watching the garden die slowly yesterday you weren't old and the stones washed to be seen by the rain pit days of old. The race cars in a distant six mile long weed riddled yard past the parts in a heap from the mowers broke down. All every rickety truck ride all the way into town to watch the garden die slowly. The oil stain on the ground, all the corn muffins cooling on a breeze floating out through the yard. Walter Brennan with his stories about family so proud. Every hand was of value and they all were bound. Not watching the garden die slowly. Yeah. Well, that's the state though. If anybody's been paying attention to the weather, the, the, the weather thing is I tell you, Scott, I had a I had a very miraculous things happened to me back in it's been going on for a long time but back in December I had a miraculous um, episode with the divinity I was given words and things to write and it poured out of me for weeks uh, anybody who knows me knows anything I, I mean it's unlike anything it's not my words something very powerful it frightened me Supposed to go into the ministry. Yeah. So anyway, the the contest is. Um, let me go to my page where I posted it. And um, copy it, and I'm going to go put it in the comments, Scott right there Lauren I see Lauren out there yeah yeah the messages for all yeah it was kind of a power of heavy heavy poem but anyway that's the the ten pieces and I'm, I, I was kind of hoping to get some assistance get some uh, recommendations from anybody out there that wants to help me um, decide which four pieces to enter. So, okay, I think I'm gonna play a song called You Player Hate Me. famous names if I can find there it is I've got a hip-hop label uh, I'm gonna play these two tracks um, this one's called famous names These guys just walked in off the street and laid these tracks down in our studio one day. The days of my lives are like Ryan's hope. I just like more thing, I like that loose time walker. Richard George Burns, I do like the night stalker. I remember Rosie Greer, I never seen a worry. I want to see what he said, I'm a demon data complete. One Barry Perry Matter, no Brady Bunch. Sounds like Red Charles and Chocolate Thunder Dunk. I like them Lego Daisy Duke, never miss Red Fox. Didn't understand Gomer Pile, never do John Knox. But love or death, damn bad. Who had Warner Brothers grow foul? Hold down, hit the zone, he's foul. I got my brother Richard Gear. I 
Fame is name, did the game I claim. First and places and things, a million names to sing. Fame is name, did the game I claim. First and places and things, a million names to sing. Fame is name, did the game I claim. First and places and things, a million names to sing. I got the temptation, and Natalie go. Isaac Hayes, and John Cusco. Richie, Bonnie, Tony, and Chachi. Cap Calloway, huh? Little Rachi. I'm talking about Johnny Taylor, Fame, of Lucille Ball, the Stephen King, the Brain, Mr. Billy Ball, huh? Johnny Moon, Gobe, you saw it, the Ray, and the Maria's got me, the Amigo Jose. I got Brother Stevie Wonder, and I like the Bruce, your magazine, me, me, Bobby, and Bunny. I rock and roll my class, who are wearing it, like Dennis Weaver, got more problems than Clint, so I leave it to be my pro baby. Another game for Jen, or is the president is the queen, then he's just a Mary, who still is the king. I got a cousin next year. I got a house like Eddie Murphy, he's a dirty professor. Driving car like a Mac, Mac go on my dresser. Living single like the bill, sweet as Aunt your mama. Play like guitar like a zimmer with no pants in my dollars. Who's like Marlon Brando, always blocking your teeth. Uh, throw this West Graham and bounce around DMC. From California to Atlanta, New York to D.C. Florida, New Orleans, Michigan, and Kentucky. I remember Flip Wilson, Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin, Mickey Rooney, Betty Davis, P.T. Eight, Dolly Parton, Alpha Max, JFK, famous names are being Megan Martin, Mega Evans, and Martin Luther King. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. I'm bust a rhyme on time, it's real deep. I dig, like deep on the score, and the notorious beat. You can call me Dizil, or you can call me Lucille. Rockefeller King, throwing the power ranger with steel. Shirley Lane is my brother, Norma Jean is my sister. T Mac and Dollar Bill, Stevie and Bobby is brother. I like that Tony the Tiger, 12 blues is nuts, billions of dollars, an educated scholar, chilling with Karen, baby face on black feet, the little old squad, and my label too sweet, famous name, this person's the greatest of things, like the MGM, huh, and Don King, Disneyland, Ronald Reagan, Paragon, Sammy Davis, James Dean, Clark Gable, Mary Poppins, Miles, Mabel, Charles Bronson, Mr. Pete, Burger King, Applebee, Terminator, Janet Jackson, Tell the Summer, Phil Baxter, famous name, this the game, my claim, earth and races and things, a billion names to sing. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous the, uh... names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Famous names is the game I claim. Person, places, and things, a million names to see. Guy goes by the name of Blue Steel. He's probably in prison or dead. These guys had a blast. There's nothing like when you get a couple people together and, and you start and you start clicking and playing. Oh man, there's nothing like it. Songs that see the one problem with the song is it's five minutes and sixteen seconds long. Which is too long. It's got to be, in order to be marketable, it's got to be the three three minutes, 20 seconds. Somewhere right around there. Three minute song. It's got to be short and sweet. But that song with all them names, I don't know if you could redo it and fit all the names in there in three minutes time. I don't know. Anyway, I got one last track I want to play. This is the other rap track, hip hop track, off of the same label piece that I made. This is on Reverb Nation. It's called You Player Hating Me. One downside about the song is it is about paddling drugs, which is a sign of the times. Everybody does it. But I don't like using it to publicize with. It's a good track, though. it's great. You bring out hate me, you can pick up the things you want to take me. I don't think you can hang. You bring out hate me, you can pick up the things you want to take me. 
very catchy. track really I just wish I, we could redo it rewrite it so it doesn't focus on selling doll yeah I I got yeah I'm, I you know I've got some standards that I'm forcing myself to to use um, I think people have been contaminated and poisoned enough in their minds and and we need artists to that are going to be supportive and, and developmental for people. You got to think about the music. It's just like fertilizer. It's fertilizer. You know, it's you spread it around, and and the the ears that get to hear it, it it touches them if it's if it's from your heart, you know, and and it, they change. Yeah, they change their perspective. They change their 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 heart they change their emotions they change the way they feel about things through through art you know um 
art is, you know, any medium, art is a conversation without words that, um, you, you know, you can't have. Think of it as a, a, a beautiful lecture. Yeah, a beautiful lecture. Instead of one of them four-hour college lectures, you know, taking home notes and, and listening and sitting in one spot, you know, it's boring and painful. Yes, but art stimulates people, if not the personal growth of the artist. It's another way of um, journaling, you know, it's the same thing as journaling, exercising that routine uh, art practice, whatever it is, um, which the, takes me to stress the importance of a journal. Um, Journal is very important. The journal is your development. Journal is your drawing board. You're a scientist developing into a super scientist. And your drawing board is very important. You look at it. You see the words on paper. You, you wrote them with your hand. You know, it's, it's that much further ingrained into your soul. Yeah. And... Um, and uh, you have to understand about psychological warfare. It's very real. And um, sound torture is a true, real thing. And we, through the in music or the sounds that we subject ourselves to, um, it affects us. It affects our, our balance, you know. Um, I got a great example, you know, trauma stories. You know, a Marine that was over in, in the war and him, you know, they sold his book telling his story. So now you got a billion people across the country all hung on in front of the TV living through his trauma. All the terrible things he saw and experienced and felt that resulted in him losing his legs. You know, so you're living, you're experiencing that trauma. So you're getting a piece of that PTSD, you know, him describing the, 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 the feeling of the bone fragments that hit him in his face from the child that he was holding on to at the moment, you know, and all those details, you know. I saw Jaws when I was a baby, when it came out, four years old, 1974. It wasn't even officially released. It was at the at the uh, Six Flags over Atlanta, Georgia. And it traumatized me very badly, yeah. I'm still uncomfortable in the water, yeah. My dad used to throw me in the ocean all the time, but added to it, but I just gave you an idea for a track, that's good. That's good. Anyway, um, yeah, I was debating on whether or not I was gonna play the guitar. Uh, no, I think I'm not going to. Anyway, it's uh, 12.53. Yeah, Paul knows. Paul knows. Paul and I used to go sailing together. We worked together. Paul and I were very close. And probably the closest thing to family we got is the two of us, each other. But, um... He was into sailing, and we'd go out on his little sailboat he had. It looked like somebody made it in their garage. It was a tiny little thing. Go out in freaking choppy water. We got out about, I don't think we got out freaking 30 yards. I had him turn me around, take, go take me back. Yeah, I'm very uncomfortable in the water. I hold my own now, but it, it took me a long time to grow out of that. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I got to get ready for the for the uh, top talent show. I've got some material and things that Mark sent me to review uh, before the show or something. I don't know a playlist, and uh, I got to eat some lunch. Yeah, it was a good sailboat. It was seaworthy. I just wasn't comfortable in a in a, in a boat. Yeah, I finally did get my sea legs, though. Anyway, um, I gotta go and uh, load the can and
I finally got my, uh, I finally got my, um, number 10 percussion caps so I can load the cannon and get the cannon ready to fire at the Snakey Snappers. But, uh, I gotta take the dog out. So anyway, peace, love, you know, who cares? Dare to be original, dare to be yourself, um, dare to continue to grow. Yeah. We can only grow in as good a dirt as we surround ourselves with as a plant in the garden of life. And if you're growing next to a bunch of oil stains and, um, you know, antifreeze, contaminates the soil. You don't do so good. No. No. And weeds, yeah. You got to learn what weeds are in your life. Pull the weeds from your life. Yeah, in your garden, so you can have a healthy garden. Yeah. Anyway, peace, love you, know who cares. See you soon.